Okay, um, today I'm going to talk about poetry analysis and as everyone knows who's ever had to do a GCSE English, this is a really common thing that you get asked about um, and it can really put a lot of people off um, because they just look at the poem and they don't know where to start. So this is a super easy like way of starting to think about poetry. Um, so what should you do? You should read through the text once and pay attention to your feelings especially how the sounds of it um, make you feel and how the images make you feel. And then next go and go and look at the structure of it. So sometimes there's something really obvious, like it's shaped like a fish or um, it's a structured poem that is meant to look at like a certain image. Um, so make a note of that, obviously. Um, but I'd look for how long the verses are how long the lines are, is it standard all the way through or is it changing form? Like, is it losing structure? That can be quite a common one. Sometimes they lose structure and then they regain the structure as the, th the poet has worked through their thoughts, perhaps. Um, is the language easy to understand? So is it standard English or is it um, in, in a dialect poem? Because often they ask you to um, look at dialect poetry. Or is it in old-fashioned English? Um, and then as part of the structure, I would look at the rhymes in the poem. So does it always rhyme? Um, does it um, look like it's rhyming in the middle of the, the lines of poetry? Um, so I'd scan... If I was faced with a poem in an exam, I'd scan the edge of the poem and try and look out for lines that rhyme and I'd probably underline them if I was allowed to underline them. And then look for common patterns. So often they can be the first line rhyming with the second line, so A and A, and then B, B, the next few lines um, rhyming. So it might have that quite simple um structure I'm just seeing what the cat's doing um and that you can have in like quite nursery rhyme quite comforting feeling poem poems or they might be a b a b so the first line rhymes with a third line the second one with a fourth one and often with this sort of rhyming pattern they might have the last two couplets so two lines of poetry together is called a couplet um they might rhyme. So William Wordsworth's um, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud has the pattern A, B, A, B, and then C and C. So if I read out a line of poetry, I wandered lonely, lonely as a cloud that, fly, that floats on high over bales and hills when all at once I saw a crowd. So cloud and crowd a host of golden daffodils, hills and daffodils rhyme, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. So trees and breeze rhyme as well. I'd also have a look at how the punctuation marks being used, because you're meant to take a breath when you have a, a comma. So how's that influencing how you're reading it and how you're emphasising certain words over other ones? Um, is it consistent in good having good punctuation? Are there any um, points that are highlighted with the punctuation? That, that's something else I'd look for. Because um, a lot of poetry analysis is actually based on your own emotions of what you feel with it. And that can be quite tricky when you're already nervous in an exam. So I'd just have a list of questions to go through to try and work things out and stop yourself panicking. Here we go. Hopefully that's helped.